Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. My name is William. This is Larafant. In this video, I want us to look at how we can be able to enable email verification in a Laravel uh, application when we are using the starter kits either Breeze or Jetstream. But in this case, I'm going to use Breeze. So I will go ahead and install Breeze by running the command composer require Laravel Breeze. Then php artisan Breeze install. I will choose Livewire functional. And here really doesn't really matter. Whatever it is that you're working with, you can just choose it. We will run the development server by running the command php artisan serve. And visit localhost 8000 on our browser. In so doing, we have an authentication system. Now would like us to register a user. Can be able to have William. William example.com and a password. So when we register this new user, the user details will be persisted in the database and the user will be logged in automatically. But remember, there is one field in the, in the co database column where it uh, is called email verified at. So all the emails that are verified, you have a, a timestamp on that email verified at uh, column. And that shows that the email, email being used in our, in our database is actually a real email of a real person. Because in this era, we have bots that also try to log into a Laravel application. And so instead of taking the logged in user direct to the dashboard, first of all, we can have the verification link, a place where we can uh, require them to send the verification link and then confirm their email. When they confirm, then we can go ahead and show them the dashboard. But if somebody cannot be able to confirm the, the email, then we can go ahead and deny them entry into our dashboard or deny them accessing any other resource. And in so doing, it's very easy to weed out these users. So for example, you can decide in a frequency of a month, you delete every user who has not verified their emails. And then by doing so, you can be able to be rid of any bots trying to access your application. So what we are going to do to implement the must verify, or in other words, to have uh, what it is that I'm talking about, we will go to our app models and open the user model. And then above here, we have a contract, which is called must verify, which is commented out. And you just um, uncomment it and also add here, after class user extends authenticable, we can also have implements, and then we can say must verify. By doing that, we are set. So if I go back to my dashboard and refresh, now you can see I have been denied entry into the dashboard. So the next thing for us to do is to send the verification email. Now I would like us to go to the ENV where we are supposed to set our credentials here, the email credentials, and I want to show you something. So when you scroll down here, you have the mailer uh, database, the mailer details. And so you have host and every other thing that we require here. For testing, we are using log. So in this case, it will just put uh, the everything, it will send the email sort of to the Laravel log. But of course, if you want now to use it in production, you have to check with your mailing host and you'll be given what it is that you're supposed to fill in here. So let me just go ahead and try to send the verification so let me just go click resend. And now the verification link has been sent as we are being notified here. And now we can go and check for that verification link inside storage and then logs. And so when we click on the Laravel log, already we have an email that, that uh, is supposed to be sent. And we have um, the subject, verify email address, every other detail here. But of importance is the link, which we have here, which is called verify email address. So I will press control and then click on the link. 
then it you go ahead and verify our email and now we will be logged in that is the end of this tutorial video thank you very much for following the video up until this point if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed and you're new to this channel please subscribe and if you have a comment you can be able to put in the comment section below thank you very much